Hello, and welcome to a Grundy Library Book Talk. I'm Laura, and I'm a Community Services Librarian at Grundy Library. Today we are reading What I Carry, and I read this in like four hours because it was just so good and so beautiful, and I can't recommend it enough. Um, it's available in Cloud Library, um, so if you want to download it and read it while you are home, I would highly recommend it. Um, when we get back to the library, you can check it out. We had, this is our copy. Um, so I just wanted to go over why this book was so amazing. Um, what I Carry is about a girl named Muir, um, Muriel, but she mostly goes by Muir, and she is a foster child. Um, she is 17 and in her senior year of high school, and she is in the process of preparing herself to age out. So the back of the book has a lot of really good resources if you want to find out more about aging out, and there's also some like Netflix and other documentaries. But aging out is kind of like a really scary thing. So imagine you're a high school senior and instead of just going off to college willy-nilly um, and still having parents that you can stay with if you don't go to college, as a foster child, um, a lot of times the government, um, they do try to prepare them, but they don't necessarily, they're not going to be taken care of by the government anymore as far as um, having a foster placement. So Muir has been preparing for aging out for the last 10 years. Um, she didn't get adopted when she was an infant, which was um, a huge messy deal. And she's had 20 families in 18 years. And a lot of that was by her choice as um, a way to protect herself from reality. But through this book, she finds community. She finds people who who like her for her and help her start tearing down some of the um, shields that she's put in place to protect herself from being hurt. I think this book would appeal to anyone, not just foster kids. Um, it is a hopeful look at foster care and um, the fact that it's not all scary, it's not all bad, it's not all one way or the other. It's a story that the author's daughter asked her to write. Her daughter was a foster child for a couple of years, and she said, Mom, I need a book that isn't about the worst and isn't about the best. I need a book that has a hopeful ending, and that's what this book is. Um, it definitely had its Pixar moment as she's dealing with um, this new reality that she's in um, and some of the choices that she suddenly has the ability to make. Um, and so I definitely had a crying moment as I was processing that with her. But I have to tell you, it was an amazing book. It was so joyful and so hopeful. And yet still high school. I mean, there's still the mean girls. There's still um, relationship stuff and jobs and everything else. But it was just an absolutely beautiful book um, that anybody in the YA category can totally read. Um, which is makes it a unique unicorn <laughs> because um, since YA stretches from seventh grade to college, there's there's a lot of um, a lot of books out there that I wouldn't recommend for all age groups um, because they're not meant to be. But in this case, I would recommend this book um, to be something that if you want some hope, if you want some beauty, if you love the outdoors, um, Muir works outdoors, loves outdoors, that is her. She's named, named after John Muir, which now I'm going to have to research and read some of his journals for. Um, then I think this book is going to be great for you. So if you want to learn more, um, please see the end of this video for the resources that they have about chat, um, foster care and aging out, as well as um, where you can find it on Cloud Library. So thank you so much for joining us, and I will see you next week. All right, bye.